Hello all. I think today's video is one of the most important videos I've put out since I've been doing videos. There's a headline, well there's not just one, there's two really, really serious headlines out there. And I've, I've, I'm going to show them to you. So does anybody really grasp the seriousness of that headline? That's in the U.S. What the U.S. does, the U.K. does. What the U.K. does, Australia does. And so on and so forth. All I can say is get out your peace stuff. Do what you have to do to try and wake people up to what's going on. That says without trial. Now this headline is probably as, as important as the last one because it's inching us closer and closer to World War III. Uh, some of my friends talk about, oh, we're just going to head into World War III as if it'll just be a television event only. If we go to world war with Russia, China, and Japan gets involved, in other words, world war, we will get bombed here. We will be destroyed. You'll be fighting. There will be nobody left out of the fun. I guarantee it. It's just not good. We have the most destructive weapons that countries could have ever had. Um, and, and we just... Th this is the situation. Let me show you. Okay, we've seen this in the past. Go, go look at history. And you will find that very powerful nations sink themselves by going to war with other countries. War is a very destructive thing to go into. Uh, here's the situation. People are up here on the deck partying, just just going at it, right? They're, they're just up there, there's a little slant to the boat, they're, they're, they're drunk, they're looking at their gadgets, there's uh, lots of fireworks going off, and uh, just bubbly all around. But, but down here, there's a, a crack. And that crack has been opening and opening and getting longer and longer. And water is pouring in. And the situation is that the people up here are saying, No, there's no climate change. No, there's no problem. We can win any war anywhere in the world with no problem. Nobody will touch the U.S. or the U.K. And then you, you see that headline that, that says that we're trying to take over the Ukraine, I mean, and the, um, the situation around the world. We're trying to become the world dominant power. Well, so is China. So is Russia. You know, it, it's obvious that this crack is now starting to open up and get longer and longer. And the, the crack is starting to work its way through all of our countries. And there's big holes just above the water line. Do I have to say anything more? This pretty much explains it, huh? I think it's down to the time of where we have a choice of actually just continuing on in the same situation and same day-to-day -day things that we do, and we do nothing, and we just hope for the best, which is it seems like is what, what we're all headed for. But if you look at history, just read Roman history. Watch it on, on YouTube. Just put in Roman history. There are so many uh, really nice documentaries on it. And it just shows the same repeated history over and over. And here we go again. These last two headlines say it all. It couldn't be more important about our Constitution, both here in the U.S. and the U.K. and the rest of the world. It seems that the governments just don't pay attention to these constitutions. Okay, you're saying, well, what am I supposed to do? There's a lot we can do. We can show our peace. If that's the only thing that we can do, show it. Put it on. Wear it. Buy it. Support it. Support the parties that support peace. 
Uh, as far as I know, the Green Party is still supporting peace. They're, they're becoming a little bit more washed out, but they're sure a lot better than what anything in either country will give us now. It's time to do something, people, and I'm not talking about violence or anything like that. I'm talking about, in a friendly, nice way, pa pass these two headlines on to other people. Let them decide. Maybe talk about what happened in World War II in the 30s and 40s. And, and, and go watch that history and find out how that happened. You will find that we are on a, we're on a quasility loop going around and around and around and around and we're not getting out of it. And by doing nothing is going to cause some really bad shit to happen very soon. Okay, last video we had a comment. In fact, we had three comments. I was able to see two of them. And um, one of them I never could see. And then all of a sudden they all just disappeared, all the comments. So, if I remember right, was the commenter. And he asked, when was the peak of everything going to happen? When were we going to meet the X of peak oil? Where the oil, the oil goes down and the demand goes up. And you cross in an X. When were we going to get into that X? To be honest with you, I thought we were pretty much in the X already. Uh, when uh, About three years ago, I thought we were well into it. But technology has gotten us back out of the X. So really, I, I, I think we're just right there at the X, but technology keeps floating us right above it. Now, it's when technology will fail that you'll suddenly, the further we go without going into the X, the steeper the fall once we get to it. And um, when that's going to happen, boy, I don't know. I just don't know. But uh, I appreciate all the comments, and uh, I don't know why some are disappearing. We, we shouldn't let this uh, stop us from commenting. I mean, that's BS. And if somebody's uh, hacking in and erasing the comments, then go put them back on. Don't let them hack the hell out of our, our site and ruin it by taking away the comments. Uh, I think part of this is YouTube. They're out of control and uh, keep switching everything around. So, so if I'm wrong on Paul, on the commenter, I wasn't sure. But uh, thank you for your comments, whoever it was. If you wish to do something, you could go to the below this video and you'll see a link. You may have to hit the show me button or whatever they're calling it now. And I've got some links on where you can get peace stuff, shirts, buttons, that sort of thing. All from small artists, uh, independent artists who are trying to make a living. So go support them and support peace. That's one thing we can do is show our peace, start wearing peace out. And that might give the, the politicians the idea that we're not in for world war or anything else. Until next time.